return to the game. Blue screen ghost is back, really? I can't even see it, but you guys must have better eyes than me. Let me fix this for you. You know, it did just get uh, quite a bit darker recently. So, damn the sun. Okay, what is hitting me? Nothing? Alright, where are we? Oh yeah, we just died. That's right, that, that's... Frig. <laughs> frig, man. Oh! Damn skeletons jumping out of frickin' midair. Okay, get me in here. Oh god, I forgot about these guys already. Okay, please be dead. There you go. Good god. Oh, uh, we need to rest here. They turn into men whenever they die. Revolutionary game. Revolutionary. Okay, give me all my magicka back. Thank you. Oh my god. Oh. I think I need a better weapon. Um, Let's get out the adamantium katana. Okay, is this a stone golem it looks like? I've never fought one before. But I think if we bash him enough with this, yes, adamantium katana, we can take him down. It was a stone golem, first one we found in the game. Damn. Now that we've extinguished his life, switch back to the long sword of strength. And rest again. Oh, please. Okay, well, they're not right in this room, so let's save the game one more time here. And head out into the darkness once again. Whoops, am I going the? Where am I going? Okay, just south here and then around and north again. Filthy golems. Burn the filthy golemses. <laughs> okay, please don't have those uh, spectre guys around here anymore. Where are we headed? Where are we headed? Oh, I guess we can't get into this area. So let's just head to the west here. Let me save the game again. I save way more often than necessary, but it just... Oh my god, it was these guys. That's right. These guys killed me last time. Nope. Not today. Not, well, you know. Not this, not this load anyway. And we haven't been in here yet. But it's just a little corridor to go over there. Sure, nothing in here of interest. What am I hearing? And where is it? Oh. Well, it's not. Oh my god, it's getting louder. Oh, there's a green dot. Probably where we need to get to. So let's head down. And around. This lock looks difficult. Not difficult at all for my sword. Thank you, troll. And then... Oh god. Oh god! Another troll. Okay, I need to heal. Okay. And we should be able to head north here. Oh my god, so many trolls. Okay, let me heal. And something behind me isn't there. Nope. Okay, good. Money. We need. Okay. Where are we now? Hopefully we can just head right into this thing and there's no wall here. Okay, good. Oh, another troll. Trolls be trolling. Okay, okay. Oh, a chest. What do we get? Hold on. Let's just ignore the dangers here. Get this money. And into the... Hold on, let's save before we go through here. Oops. Oh, man. Oh, my God. I hate these things. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm going to equip a better weapon to kill these things. Good god. Uh, the mithril, I think. We'll do for these guys. Oh, let me move, please. Ooh. Okay, is this game just 100% dungeons? Uh, pretty much. Pretty much. But the thing is, the dungeons aren't all fighting. There's, there's a lot of uh, exploring around you know, uh, sort of hunting through the dungeon and riddle solving, which is my favorite part of it. 
the riddle solving. But yeah, all of Tamriel is actually in the game. But most of the actual, you know, way you would realistically play is dungeons. Oh my god. Does this sword even hurt these guys? I think it does. Yes, it does. Okay. So I should just use this sword. Oh my god. Oh my god. You were a fool to I was a fool. The price has been paid. Not my mortal husk. Not the price of my failure. The price of my failure. It's too damn expensive. Alright, where are we? What do we have equipped? Because I want to equip the long sword of strength. Okay, good. Something normal people... <laughs> what is a life? I have a life. I just choose to spend it playing games and, and chatting with people from all over the world. It seems like a pretty ideal way to spend it to me. But you've lost your life to Fallout? Well, I mean... There's a lot of people in Fallout that you can talk to as well. I don't know, man. I don't know. Oh god, the healing! Okay. These things are so strong. If you see this love heart... Oh, if you see this love you all, go and lay down for a bit. Might be back later when chat isn't eating everything you say. Okay, see you later, Ekimashi. We did get that. Well, I did. I did certainly get that message. See you later. See you later, and I'm sorry that... Well, I, I don't know if I'm sorry, but Twitch should be sorry <laughs> that that chat is completely broken. <laughs> it's really bad. One armor class? No thank you. Get rid of that garbage. Get rid of it. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, Iron Golem. No, it's, a, it's an ice golem, isn't it? Uh, we need our adamantium katana. Well, we don't necessarily need the adamantium one. Mithra would do fine. Or the elven enchanted one, but this will do the best job. The best tool for the job. Okay, excellent. Found 150 gold pieces. Nice. Life is overrated, games are not. <laughs> well, most are, but you know. Indeed, indeed. Well, I mean, why would I need to go outside and have a life when I could just sit inside and play Life Simulator? I don't understand the purpose of, of, of doing something when there's a simulator already perfectly good for it. <laughs> you know what's great, by the way, about how I mentioned earlier that I go on a bike ride now every day? It's great because before... Before I started going on a bike ride every day, and before I got my bike, I would be like, you know, man, I have to go to the supermarket to get this, but then I'd have to get in the car and be bothered to do all this stuff, you know. But now I just, like, automatically am out every day. So I'm just like, oh, if I need something, I can just go pick it up on my bike ride today. So convenient. Because there's no, you know, you can't just go on a daily drive. It's just a waste of petrol. Well, I wouldn't anyway. It's a waste of petrol and there's no purpose in it. But if you go on a bike ride, even if you don't go anywhere, you're getting more fit and all that kind of stuff and en enjoying the ride. So, I don't know. It's working out very well for me. This bike, These bike riding shenanigans. Now, let's see what's under the water here. A new chamber, perhaps. Please just open. Pilfer it. Pilfer, I say. Yes, there you go. Money. And of course there are enemies nearby. Oh god. Oh my god! I couldn't even move! I was a fool to confront him! Damn it. Damn it, man. It's too cold to go on a bike ride there? That could be true, actually. During the winter it would be really inconvenient. Um, damn it. How far back did I save? Eh, not that far back. Not that far back. And there was just that shitty bracer in here. Oh, there's a belt now. Wow, it's way better. I was a fool. I know, Algy, I know. 
I know. 15 to luck. It's actually really good. We might sell that. Mollstair, why'd you get timed out? I'm guessing Nightbot did it. Oh, way too long in your message. When non-gamer... When non-game players' friends would ask you how you could play so much WoW, the usual answer was because in real life you're just another person with just another job in regular life, and in the game you're a powerful warlock and you can command demons to do your bidding. Yeah, the message was a little too long for Nightbot. Yeah, I mean, I mean, games are pretty much all about fantasy. There's, there's strategy games and stuff as well. But even then you're fantasizing that you're a great strategist. You know, well, I mean, you are if you, if you do well in the game, but... You're fantasizing that you're some great commander of armies and all that kind of stuff. So, games are all about fantasy, really. Okay, let's just bash it open this time. It'll be a lot faster. And don't shoot me in the back this time. Ghost guy! Oh! Nope, it's, it's not even a ghost guy this time. Okay. Please let me sleep. God, there are enemies always nearby. Okay, let's save the game here. Yeah? Mobile doesn't delete messages, you say? Is that true? Is that really true? Because be, that would actually be helpful information for Twitch. Oh, or do you mean when Nightbot deletes the message, it doesn't get, it doesn't show message deleted on mobile? Is that what you're saying? Oh my god. Die, you mongrel. Come on. Come on. Oh, there's another one. Alright, we're, we're fine. We're fine. I just need a nice little cozy corner to rest in. There's enemies! Need to try and write your sentences on word per line to see if it pleases. One word per line. No. Using mobile chat to make sure your messages get through. Oh, so you've got another chat open to see. Oh, I thought there was a, a, a golem, but it's just a tree. Please let me sleep. And what is that noise? Sounds like a large footstep. Mobile shows all messages even if they're timed out. Okay. It doesn't delete the message and it doesn't seem to eat anything either. Really? So if you send a message on mobile, it doesn't eat the message. You just move to your tablet and lay it down and watch. Nice, Ikimashi. Well, enjoy it. Enjoy it then. Uh, bash it open. Oh god, please let me sleep in this room though. That's what I want. All I want is a good night's sleep in this game. Damn it! Enemies everywhere. Oh! 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 Who's shooting me? What? In the room that I just came out of? What a load. Please let me sleep now. God damn it. Not even gamers for every person. You have great fun watching friends play games that make you cringe when you think of yourself playing them. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I agree. I used to really enjoy just going to my friends' places and hanging out and watching them play games. I mean, I still enjoy doing that, but... Now I don't really have the time. Oh god. Oh dear. Because certain games would really scare me. So I would just watch them play. Like Doom. I, w I used to watch my friend play Doom. Doom 3. God, I could not play that game. But he could. He could play the shit out of it. And he wouldn't even like, get frights or anything in it. He'd just wander on through. la di da Like it was no big deal. Pretty crazy to me. Now let's get the long sword of strength again. Okay, we can sleep. Oh my god. One hour and then an enemy nearby. Oh, more sleep. Yes, thank you. Fully healed. Excellent. Now we're in a good spot. I was starting to get worried that I would actually die. Well, you know, run out of magicka and die. In this dungeon, which would be pretty fail. Oh, another ice golem. How many golems in this place? Seems like mobile does drop messages too well. Latest example is a set screen black flag. Love watching your flatmate play it to 100% but find no fun in playing it yourself. You know, I've watched some Assassin's Creed black flag. It really doesn't look all that fun to me at all. Like, I played Assassin's Creed 1 and that was okay, but not that fun. 
I was like, I don't understand wh what the big deal is about the Assassin's Creed series. It all seems, you know, it's not very assassiny. I guess it's just just not the assassin game that I want. So I, I I want Thief to come out, and I want it to be super cheap so that I can actually afford it, and I want to have time to play it, and then. <laughs> And then I'll play it. I imagine Thief is going to be an extremely good game. So that's that's the game I want. Or a new Tenchu game. I would I would love a new Tenchu game. Grew up watching your dad play games. You'd rather watch someone play games than play on yourself all the time. Yeah. Well, the thing is with playing games as well. Playing games is stressful, but watching games often is really relaxing. I find anyway. You know, you don't have to you don't have to be tensed up and 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 figuring things out and all that. You just have to sit back. My long sword's broken. Wonderful. Maybe I should stop bashing doors with it. Wouldn't break. <laughs> okay, let's get the. Uh, let's just get a katana. Oh my god! Why? Why is there another golem? At least these golems aren't too hard. Like if I if I had tried to face them a few levels ago, I would have gotten completely owned. Like, remember when, the, when I first faced the first Ice Golem and it was two-shotting me? I remember. I remember those days. No longer, though. No longer. Open. 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 Open it. Open it, though. Just open it. Okay, let's get a katana equipped again and just bash this thing open. Okay, let's uh, let's heal and let's save and maybe rest. Nope, of course not. Come on, open the door. Am I even going to be able to get through now because the door is closed? How do I get through? What? Well, I just leveled up. Before someone told you to kill it with magic, I was just running away. <laughs> yeah. Well, even... No, I, I didn't even manage to kill it with magic. Did, oh, wait. The ice golems? No, I did manage to kill them with magic. It was the iron golem that I couldn't kill with magic. That's the one. But, yeah. Those ice golems were destroying me. Uh, let's see here. My will is 62, so I don't know if I need more points than that. I could put all three points in it and get more magic defense. I feel like agility might be better. Maybe. Maybe endurance get more health. It's difficult to say. Difficult to say. Maybe intelligence will be good for the spell points. Maybe strength for the damage. Let's get strength for now. Maybe. Maybe. Well, or speed. No, I feel like we have enough speed. Let's get agility this turn, I think. Oh my god. Oh. I'm pretty sure I can't even open this door. What the heck, man? How do I get back now? There's no... This this map is impossible to leave. Right? Damn it. Maybe if I just jump at the door and it'll open. Well, I, I did stop on the ledge there for half a second. Or half a millisecond. <laughs> okay. Damn it. Okay, this this is this the second major glitch we've found in the game. Okay. Yes! Let me through, let me through, let me through, let me through, let me through. Yes! Made it! Made it! Open console, TCL. Yeah, I don't even know if this game has a console or anything. We should check, I guess. Tilt button? No. Nothing. Okay, this guy needs the adamantium katana. Or maybe we should just take him on with the mithril one. Keep the adamantium katana. 
and good neck. Let's use the mithril longsword. Ah, oh, you damn ice golem. There you go. Good. What do we get? Nothing. Of course we get nothing. And give me back a katana. And we need a heal. Alright. Let's save since we just defeated that guy. Even though I just saved. Do we need that garbage? So this whole subsection here was just nothing. <laughs> just just a bit of gear and a ton of monsters. Oh well. Oh well. Haha. Uh -huh. I don't care if there was a creature there because wow. Did a ton of damage on the way out. But it can't get me now. Okay, where are we headed? North. Oh. We really haven't gone very far north. I forgot how little of this place we've actually explored. For a second there. Whoops, not 25. Hold on. I like to have these named correctly. Oh, I just did the same thing again. There we go. Now, where are we going? Just east? I suppose so. Okay, Snow Wolf, you can die. Easy peasy. Snow Wolf again. Oh, another Snow Wolf. I like the Snow Wolves more than the freaking dragon things. A green dot, it could be our de destination. Okay, you can die. And by the way, guys, we reached... 30 viewers apparently, so I owe another giveaway at some point. We won't do that right away. Usually, if I weren't streaming the Elder Scrolls Marathon, I would do it right away. But, since we're doing this marathon and I'm putting it all on YouTube and all that kind of stuff, we'll wait until a, 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 a good time to have a little interlude. Okay, these are all just separate chambers down here. I guess I should start from the end chamber and go back. Because I think all these chambers are going to be cut off at the at the back, at the south end. Oh no, maybe not. Huh, what do we have here? I suppose we'll go down this corridor first then. Oh, bash it open. There you go. Huh. Little chamber area down here. Under oh. the sea, under the sea, darling, it's better down where oh. you take it from me. I found the shore, they were called Jesus. Way to give me a fry. Sunless devoting full time to floating <laughs> under the sea. Oh. Oh. My heart needs a rest after. Good God, welcome Cybertech. Oh my God, thank you DK for the $40 donation. Damn man, that's that's a lot. Thank you. <laughs> Good God. That gave me a freaking fright, man. Ah. Oh. Okay, well, that means I owe you guys a super giveaway as well. We'll do the we'll do the 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 giveaways both together. So we won't do them right now. Um, oh, what is this? Just a just a little tomb thing. Normally I would do the giveaways right away, but we're but since we're doing the marathon, I am doing things sort of, you know, at certain break periods. So we'll wait a little while and then we'll do those giveaways uh, both at the same time there. But thank you, DK for the donation and his message that he left as you guys can see way up there thanks for streaming the series so thank you for the donation man you know what it's honestly it's really surprising to me to get it to get a, a like a pretty big size donation like that because i got a ton of donations uh was it must have been just a week ago just a week ago i really didn't expect any more donations for you know a decent amount of time a few weeks maybe 
maybe just a five dollar one here and a five dollar one there but that's really awesome dk so thank you and it's really gonna help me out now somebody asked what microphone is i use the cad u37 this this microphone by the way i'm i'm sitting a decent distance away from it so with all microphones the closer you are to it and the lower you set the volume the better it's going to sound obviously if you sit further away you have to increase the volume and it picks up background noise but uh, i don't know what the volume set to right now but i should be able to if i just go this no it's see I'll, I'll do it for you right now i'll do it for you right now i'll turn the volume down for you and, you, and i'll just show you it can sound like a i know it sounds pretty good right now the microphone but it can sound extremely good say i set this to 10. Test, test, see, when I'm sitting back here now, it's real quiet. But if I were to have the microphone way up close to my mouth, then it sounds really good. You know, probably a little bit deeper than when I'm sitting further away and it sounds, uh, you know, no background noise and all that kind of stuff. So that's, it's a really good microphone. It's a really good microphone, but uh, I don't use it to its full potential right now. When I get a pop, uh, 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 a boom stand and all that from the microphone, maybe then I'll start using it real close to my mouth like that. And we'll be able to get the optimum audio quality. But yeah, damn man. Thank you, DK. That's 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 awesome. A forty dollar donation right now. That's, that's pretty crazy. Okay, let's just grab this. Maybe the bracelet. Please tape the microphone to my face. Hey, Drayden. Welcome. You do have to head home from work, though. Okay, see you soon, DK. So where's this new bracelet we just got? Plus 10 to endurance. That's actually really good. It's almost as good as the agility, I think. I'll keep the agility for now. But we might actually end up using that uh, that 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 endurance belt there. Would it be a miracle if I picked it? I'll just bear. So that's something I really, really think is lacking in Oblivion and Skyrim and, and everything. You can't just bash open locks. I love that you can do that in this game. Can I link you the mic? Uh, Moss Dave, just look up C-A-D-U-37. CAD U-37 is what it is. So CAD is the company and U-37 is the model. So you should be able to find it pretty easily. But I mean, if you if you want to message me and ask me, I'll, I'll reply to the message after the stream and, and send you the, li the link for the mic if you can't find it yourself. But you should be able to if you look up CAD U-37. It's, it's basically an entry-level studio microphone. But, uh, I mean, if you use it right, it's just as good as, as any other studio microphone, I think. Or not, 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 not really just as good, but very, very close to as good as other studio microphones. Higher-end ones. Oh, God. Found it. Okay, no problem, Moss Deb. Okay, I think this is the way that we want to head. It's interesting, this is the first uh, dungeon where we've actually been heading up the stairs instead of down. Every other dungeon has been downstairs every time. Okay. The Crystal Tower. Nothing this way. A heavy musky scent wafts through the rough-hewn corridors. In the distance you can hear what sounds below growls. I wonder this I wonder if this is a pre-built. Most of the game is uh, is randomly generated. Or, or procedurally generated but some parts of the game are pre-built I wonder if this is one of those pre-built places you'd think the last level of this place would probably be pre-built or well, I would think that anyway just from my experience with the game um, I'm going to save right here you like what you're reading about the mic? Mind if you copy it in the near future? What you mean, uh, buy the microphone yourself and use it? Absolutely, you can use that. Oh, on the floor is a pressure plate. A sign above it reads, emergency cell release, section one and two. Push the plate. 
No. It occurs to you that releasing the locks on all the cells would probably be a bad idea. Yeah. A sign reads the bestiary, section one. Oh god. Rats? I don't really want to bust into here. Because it looks like I can. Like, what is in skeleton? Goblins. More goblins, maybe? What is it? Does it tell me what's in there? Maybe nothing. Maybe nothing's in these ones as well. Skeleton. Nothing's in this one. <laughs> Snow wolf. Warning. Specimen has ice breath attack. I know, I know. Oh god, what's going to be in here? Spider. Warning the specimen is highly poisonous. What is this? The bestiary section 2. This is an interesting tower. Oh, trolls. Frig, man, they just come out of nowhere. I put a, what? I just found a diamond key. Was it just on the ground there? Because I was just trying to click on the, the loot there. <laughs> I just accidentally found the diamond key. Okay. Ah! Oh, you son of a... Oh my god, heal. Oh my god. I hate that trolls regenerate. It's a freaking troll. Um, whoops. Had a look at the one Ko uses. It's also excellent, but the price is quite high. Doesn't Ko use uh, a blue Yeti? Because, yeah, that is an extremely high-priced mic. I don't think it's worth the price, really. There are microphones just as good, which are much cheaper, like, for instance, the CADU 37. On the forest bridge, a sign above reads, Emergency Cell Release Section 3. No. Oh! Okay, let's go have a look at section two then. So we have the spiders. Are there, is there anything in here? I guess not. Hellhound. Yep. Nothing in there. Zombie. Nothing in here. Wraith. And nothing in this one. Hmm. I'm curious if I should just bash down these doors and kill the things individually. You Blue Yeti Pro, which is almost double the price of the non-pro. Wow, what's the difference between the pro and the non-pro then? Oh, a troll. Two trolls, of course. Why not? Three trolls! Okay, I need to itch my head. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, yes! The itchy head syndrome is solved. And, uh... Oh, it's just giving me t tasty waffles. Or, actually, tasty wall fess. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, sir. Oh, and I'll need to uh, update the donation thing, saying that DK has donated $40 as well. I do keep track of everything everybody has donated ever. Okay, can I sleep over here? What? Oh, that's the map button. Sleep button. Till fully healed. Okay, thank you. Do I think this is meant... This is meant as a level to educate people on what the enemies do? Seems weird that it will be this late in the game. It does seem weird that it would be this late in the game. I think it's... I think they put this stuff here... Feeding tube three. Specimens may inhabit the tunnels. Uh, no thanks. No thanks, then. That's not fun. Guitar hero mic, best mic. Everybody knows. No, um, I think it's it's mostly... There's, there's going to be some purpose to it. But I don't think it's to to teach the player. I think the player would have already worked out a lot. Like, I, I've worked out all this stuff already. But, um... I think it's here just for, you know, role-playing you know, this. It's said that this is this sort of the center of magic in the whole place. You know, this is the this is the place legendary for having the most powerful magic. And nobody ever finds this place. The bestiary section three. Alright. Ice golem, wow, there's an ice golem. It has a damage aura? See I didn't know that. 
So that is interesting information. Stone golem. It throws rocks? I didn't know that either. Difference is mainly frequency of sounds. More on the pro. And the ability to plug regular coaxial cables. Other minor differences, but those are the ones that stand up the most. So the coaxial cables, that would mean plugging in earplugs or, or headphones or whatever. The cell is empty. On a plaque to one side has been hastily etched your name. It seems someone has been expe Wow, my name is on a plaque next to this one? Wow. Fire demon. Warning this guardian is extremely dangerous. I've never fought one of those before. Medusa. Wow. Really? Okay, this place is insane. What is it? Is this also Medusa? Is this also Medusa or is this nothing? That's nothing. Alright. Homoculus. Homo oh, this is a homoculus. Oh, I've been wondering what those things were. Okay, so let's go. Oh, there's a door in the back of this one. So I think we're supposed to go into the cell with the homoculus. Let's save the game here. And let's bust into the cell with homoculus. Okay, please open the door. No? Bash it open then. There you go. Wonderful. Okay, let's heal. A belt. All right, we'll see how this belt is. I think this is our fourth belt that we that we're keeping in our inventory. If it's good. Belt, belt, belt. Third belt. Fifteen to personality. Damn, that's actually really good. I might use that when we're trading. And and sound studio cables. Once you plug into an amp mixer, like the type of jack you plug in you. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. So I guess you can do some more advanced stuff with the with the pro mic, but for anybody just just doing a live stream or something, unless you're man versus game and you have like this crazy audio box that you plug everything to and all that, I think anybody would be fine with a standard studio mic like the one I've got. Okay, where is this tunnel? Hey, Hammy Sam, welcome. Remember playing this long ago? Then you're older than me, I think. <laughs> oh, trolls. Why? Why, why, why? Oh, my God. Where are we, anyway? Hmm. What is this going to be? Something not pleasing, I imagine. Let's save the game before we venture in. You suddenly realize that the illegible scroll may have been a warning in Trollish. What illegible scroll? Oh! Wait, my name. Ah! Okay. Okay, this is the this is okay. I was wondering what it was gonna be. <laughs> it's it's just a it's just an iron golem. Not it not an amazingly huge deal. We should be able to take him down. Okay. Oh, it was an illegible scroll. Okay. Oh my god. He really is doing a ton of damage though. The pro yeti is near two hundred American dollars. And that is more than you want to spend on a single upgrade of this. Oh, he's dead. Okay. On this troll's body, you find a crudely drawn map. Obviously, on the of this level, this isn't a troll though. Obviously, of this level, in the southeast corner is a large red X. The map also shows an illegible scroll just northwest of this room, marking a location just beyond the cell door. Oh, I think I think that was supposed to be on a troll body outside this thing. A big red X on the southeast, and then a legible scroll on this room. So the legible scroll was the warning. Huh.
The corpse of the iron golem just disappeared. That's cool. And I have no idea where I was supposed to find that note, by the way. <laughs> but I guess, I guess whatever. You're amazed Cybertech found your Steam. It's totally different to your Steam name. Definitely, definitely. So let's head uh, this way, I guess. Okay, take me this way. To the southeast corner we must go. Actually, we should be able to sleep over here for a while, hopefully. Don't think there are any enemies nearby. Excellent. Hey, Midnight Spy, welcome. Um, and then, okay. Over this way. All the way this way. Then, red X in the southeast corner. So that would be this place. Aha! Oh shit. Oh shit. We have to fight the fire demon. <laughs> <sighs> this is not going to go well, I don't think. I have a feeling it's going to absolutely destroy me and I'm going to have to figure out another way to get through this thing. Bash open the door. Go on, door. Door, come on. Really? You opened all- Oh, I used the diamond key. Okay. Oh god. Oh god. Come on! It's blocking like every hit. Oh, there's one. It's really not hitting me very much though. So that's good. I guess my defense is high enough that I'm blocking a lot of his moves. Come on! Oh my god, it's taking so many hits. It's taking so many hits! Yes! Wow, it's dead. That was surprisingly not too difficult. Mostib has a feeling of being spied on. <laughs> Alright, let's check this belt. I don't know, I don't, I don't know if my character is more powerful than he should be at the, at, the, at the moment. Because these guys haven't been too terribly difficult so far. 15 to agility, wow. That might be a bit... bit that might be better than the than the strength one. I get the feeling that it actually is better than the strength one. Because our damage is still still quite high. But our to hit is plus nine now and our defend is plus nine. Wow. Yeah. I feel like oh, let's check this ring. I feel like this agility belt is better than the strength one. Now the ring, 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 ring. Twenty nine char oh, it's just a ring with some charges on it. I don't know what it does then. What do we have around this little room? The stairs up. Okay, let's give the game a bit of a save here. And we have a katana equipped. We're not going to go fight Medusa and all that. I don't know, maybe I should, because it would be good experience, right? I'm on two, 22... No, 2,243,355. Damn. Soid. Right. What? I think I missed a message from you, Mosteb. I saw a has a feeling of being spied, and then wa wa waving hi to spy, and then you said Soid. My, wi my writing skills are still non-existent. Didn't really make any sense at all. Okay, through here. Oh look, a dead guy. That's pleasant. I like how the corpses disappear if you take all that they have. There's no secret door in this room? Nope. Oh! Snowballs are fine. 
Easy peasy. You believe it was supposed to be spied? Oh! Yeah, that's right. I see. I gotcha. I gotcha. Yep, I now understand. My, I have been enlightened by the great and powerful Froggy. Oh god. Save him and heal. My katana is broken. I haven't even been using it very long. Oh well, that one's broken. Move on to the next katana. Oh, get the weapon up. There you go. Okay, through here then. Welcome back, Tasty Waffles. Uh, I mean, Wolf Wolfus. <laughs> okay, let me heal. What's wrong with you today? You are, uh, Frog is absolutely right. Spider is the correct form, yes. Froggy is always right. She's much too intelligent for us. Much too intelligent. <laughs> and you didn't get Froggy right. Foggy. Orgy. Goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. Oh! Die. Okay. And you die as well. I like the snow wolves though. They're not too, too powerful. But there's a lot of them. I like this. I like this format. The great and powerful Froggy. <laughs> you think that right? <laughs> Sounds good to me, Froggy. Sounds good to me. Hey OP Nerd, welcome! How are you on this fine day, my friend? And there was a secret door in here. And uh, and have I have I convinced you so far to play Arena? Because it is a great game. That definitely deserves a playthrough. If you have the time on the stream, I don't know if you will. Is it? What? Oh my god. Hey Inspiron, welcome! You're playing Oblivion and it's so much better than Skyrim besides graphics, obviously, and your name was a typo. <laughs> your name was a typo, so you just kept it. Nice. Yeah, I actually agree. I think Oblivion is better than, than Skyrim. But honestly, I think this game is more fun than Skyrim. I like Skyrim. In fact, I don't know if I would say I love Skyrim, but I do like it a lot. And I have played the shit out of it, and I'll play more of the shit out of it. But this game is more fun than Skyrim. Arena is more fun than Skyrim. In my opinion. It has this advanced bash down doors strategy. Look at this. Hold on. If it will bash down. Come on. Bash it. Bash the damn door. Okay, we'll pilfer it. Pilfer. Pilfer, I say. What is with this door? It's invincible. And guys, if you ever played Arena, it'll be long after you played the other games on the to-do list. I suppose. I suppose. But I want to see you play it. You might just get frustrated with it, though. I don't know. It crashes less than Skyrim, though. It's not a question whether to play Arena, it's a question whether it's worth to deal with DOSBox. Uh, Arena comes with a pre-built version of DOSBox. Pre-configured version, so all you have to do is run the game like any other game. It's easy peasy. Easy peasy. I've done nothing with DOSBox. I just double click Arena and it opens in DOSBox. Magic. You know, easy, 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 lemon squeezy. Can I not open this door? What is with this door? Oh well, I guess we're not going through here. Yeah, Moss Deb, you can get the game from Bethesda's website. You don't have to get it through good old games or anything. You just get it for free from Bethesda. Oblivion is too green for you, and after Skyrim you despise caves. <laughs> okay, where are we headed now? Back out here in the north. You know what, I hope in ESO it has some throwbacks to Arena. They should, because ESO would be a game where it would be really easy to put in some riddles. And certainly a lot of people who suck at riddles would just Google how to do the, how to, what the solution to the rules are, right? But for people like me who want to sit there for half an hour trying to figure out a riddle, it would be great if there were some riddles in ESO, and especially if they took some of the ones that were in this game and put them in ESO. Damn, that would be great. But I doubt they're ever even looking back at this game at all. They probably just remember it fondly as a as their first attempt. You tried to download it from Bethesda page two years ago and it didn't come with DOSBox. Well, it did this time, so it did for me. But yeah. 
Same with Daggerfall. Daggerfall comes with a pre-installed version of uh, DOSBox as well. In fact, I'd say DOSBox is probably the main bulk of the installation when, when you download and install this game and, and, and Daggerfall. That's probably the biggest thing is DOSBox. Now, I'd say that, but I really don't know. I have no idea. I just, I just, I just claim that for no reason. It's just what I, what I figure. Okay, now we need to go around to the east, or west rather. Oh, the snow wolves. Oh god, heal. Okay, let's save the game right here. Where are we? Uh, right, this one. 368. Okay, should we go to the east here? Yes. To the east, to the east. Everything you own in a box to the... Oh my god. Hopefully we can get these guys standing behind each other so that only one can attack me at a time. Let's use... I mean, the Adamantium Katana is getting used a bit. I want to use the Mithril Longsword so that I still have the Adamantium Katana for the finals. A few enemies. Question mark controls. It is, a, is it entirely keyboard or do you need to stare with a mouse? You use the keyboard to turn and to walk. And use the mouse to swing your sword. So see that red cursor on the screen there? Yeah, and this sword cursor here, that's my, my mouse. So you have to swing the sword in whichever way you, you want. Which is pretty hilarious, in all honesty, and doesn't doesn't actually work that well. <laughs> I think they made a good decision when they decided to make it uh, just click to attack. You can hear my mouse clicks here, you should be able to probably. But maybe he just thought that was the clickety clackety of my keyboard. Uh, let's, hold on, let's heal, and then rest to get our magicka back. Pro tip for all you advanced arena players, healing with Magicka and then resting to get Magicka back is faster than, than resting to get your, uh, your, your health back, usually. I don't know how it is for all classes, but that certainly is the case for my character. Alright, we want to head south, west, and then loop up north. Oh my god, another one. How many ice golems are in this place? Holy shit. I remember when I encountered the first one and it was a terrifying experience. Now they're just a dime a dozen. It's kind of interesting. Oh, I can slaughter these ice golems pretty easily now. They still take a lot of swings. But they don't do that terribly too much damage. There we go. Oh, was it? A, wait, it said ice golem. Yeah, okay. thought it said iron golem for a second there. It certainly wasn't an iron golem. Give me my other katana. Arena is 30 gig? <laughs> yeah, sure it is. I think you mean the Elder Scrolls Online is 30 gigs, which would be true. By the way, I got my beta invite to uh, Elder Scrolls Online. That's Fallout 4 beta download? Yeah, sure. Sure, OP. Oh, this is another ice golem. Hold on. Let me equip my weapon that it will actually hit him. The Mithril Longsword. I don't think he can hit me from behind there. Nope, he can. He can. Never mind. Okay, give me back. Hey, click on my character portrait. There you go. Give me back my uh, katana here. Yeah, I got my beta uh, invite to to Elder Scrolls Online just this morning or during the night or something. I'm probably not even going to play in the closed beta though. Maybe, it just depends on the timing, really. If I'd usually be streaming during the time that the beta is up. I don't know, even then I might not play. Because I don't really want to experience the game before they release it. Because there'll be bugs and things that I'll be able to remember when the game fully releases. I'll be like, oh, you know, this is where that shit happened and this is this part that I hated, you know. I kind of want to experience the story in real time for the first time with you guys as well. So maybe I'll wait for the open beta. You need to know how to make an account. You got the invite, but when you try to make an account or win it, you would redirect to the store for ESO. I'm not sure then, Tasty Waffles. I already made an account and bought the game, so that was, that was not a trouble for me. I didn't have to make an account to, to redeem my beta code because I already had one. Oh, you know what? Amulets sell for a ton, so let's grab that. 
My inventory is full. Wonderful. Uh, let's drop some useless crap then. What don't we want? What don't we want? These marks are all kind of crap. They don't sell for much. Drop it. Drop it. Drop that mark like an ugly baby. Anything else we want to drop? We'll keep all the rest for now. Let's take the amulet now and heal up and save up. And maybe rest to get our magic back. It really reached you to the store because it costs 20 USD. <laughs> O-O-P. Oh, and guys, you know what? With all the shoutouts I've already done this morning, I forgot to give OP Nerd a shoutout. So, OP Nerd is the head of Twitch Geeks. He is the commander in chief. He is the president. He is all these things of Twitch Geeks. He's my friend, and he's an incredibly good streamer. Much, much better than, than most people you find on Twitch. And I mean that seriously. I know I'm still, uh, you know, some people consider my stream pretty good. I would consider it pretty good. But I'm not in the, like, the top echelons of Twitch. He is actually a genius streamer. Very popular around our hundreds of viewers all the time. But he definitely deserves your viewership regardless. So go and give Opie Note a follow. He's currently doing one year in Skyrim. Which I'm sure most of you guys already know about him. But he's doing one year in Skyrim right now. And life, life please. That bot doesn't like links. Um, Opie Note is doing one year in Skyrim right now. So he's playing one in-game year. One year of, of, of Skyrim time, you know, 365 Skyrim days. And uh, he's going to be playing ESO, he plays, uh, what else does he play? Not that much really. Tons and tons of Elder Scrolls actually. <laughs> but also on the Twitch Geeks channel. You know what, you guys should go follow the Twitch Geeks channel as well. Because that's where we Twitch Geeks are going to be doing a certain few things. Like uh, a podcast, which is the thing I'm most, most, most excited about. I don't really care about, you know the other stuff that we've that we've come up with yet I want to just do this damn podcast so you guys should go follow the Twitch Geeks channel as well which uh, a mod could please link in the channel but yeah go follow Opie Nerd <laughs> yeah he's doing one year in Skyrim because that's how long he has on his prison sentence yeah yeah it's, it's, it's not a lie it's not a lie at all not a troll no you guys will learn by the way if you go over and watch Opie Nerd's stream he is an extremely huge troll in a funny way though he doesn't he doesn't put people down or uh, or insult people or anything like that to troll. He just makes up the most ridiculous stuff you've ever heard. But it's all true though. It's all true and not troll at all. Hey Moria Fox, welcome. Is the scary red guard in the frozen dungeon? Yes. Yes, as you can see, red guard named uh, Gareth Hogrand, the first of his name, exploring the crystal tower place of incredible magical uh, magical power but a place that I will infiltrate and will find the Elder Scroll uh, or the, the, the next piece of the Staff of Chaos all true yes it is it is alright let's give the game another save here <laughs> don't hunt you what are you talking about Maria Fox what are you talking about have I damn it I've been here before now so I've I guess that was all new stuff oh there's a secret door in this place uh back we go back we go backing up backing up backing up and where is it this one this one this one here we go you see a small key on the floor of this icy chamber, but other things seem to draw your attention. Okay, so there's enemies in there. Fantastic. This one has not made it this far into the game. Oh, you haven't made it this far into the game? Well, I mean, if uh, if you don't want to make it that far in the game, you can feel free to watch my playthrough of it. Holy hell, man has a beard. Yes, he does. He does. He also has a very shiny head. You lost your money. You bet on the Steelers, man. <laughs> Two grand out the window. Oh, well. This makes you want to play one of the all-time great Dungeon Crawls Dungeon Master. You played the hell out of that on your Amiga. No auto mapping, lots of graph paper. Nice. I 
Uh, Inspiron, I see a link to the to the Twitch Geeks uh, Twitch channel. If a mod could. Because uh, we're going to be doing some Twitch Geeks stuff on there. Did he just die by casting... Did that fireball kill himself? Wait, hold on. I think he killed himself by casting that, that fireball. And here's the key. I wonder what the key is actually for. Give me, give me the key, please. Give me that key, though. There we go. A steel key. <laughs> this one. Are you calling? Cool? <laughs> this one is Khajiit. Oh, Maria Fart. Oh, Moria. Actually, Moria. You from the mines of Moria? Are you the one the mines are named after? This is just Lord of the Rings all over it. There you go. Thank you. You guys should go f uh, follow that p channel there, Twitch Geeks. Twitch.tv slash Twitch Geeks. That is the channel for me, my, my myself rather, for self, Opie Nerd, Diddy Gaming, or whatever his name is right now, Dover Tech, uh, PC Poker 87 although, I don't know if he, he, he's been having trouble streaming, what with his school schedule and all that, and uh, Aurum, and Mr. Jughead 87 all, all of us, the Twitch Geeks, are going to be streaming stuff on there. Most importantly though, we're going to be doing a podcast. Uh, I believe next month we're starting the podcast, so... It's going to be pretty great, and you guys should be very excited about that. Need for speed? Purge- what? I have no idea what you're talking about, life. This one shall not allow scary redguard to visit the mines. <laughs> Moria, please. Moria, please. Oh dear. Let me- let me heal. Okay. Thank you. Piece of guys, cra crazy school stuff. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy school stuff. I feel like I'm in crazy school. Yeah, so I don't know what's what exactly is going on with Pizza Poker Guy, but apparently he hasn't been able to stream. I, I checked his <coughs> excuse me, his past broadcast. He's only streamed like two hours at a time lately. So I hope he manages to get all of the school stuff sorted out. I guess the start of the year is the most hectic at a at a school. At a university, though I wouldn't know because I've never been to one. <laughs> I play computer games all day instead. But I hope he gets his stuff together. Because his stream was doing really well before he ended up going back to school and 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 all that. Although also Pizza Pogo has been streaming a lot of League of Legends lately. Well not a lot, but whenever he's been streaming, that's pretty much what he's been playing. And it hasn't been working out at all. I don't think his, his viewers really want to watch it. And I can understand that because I don't want to watch it either. What is this? Is this just a standard door or is this... Oh, this is something. This is something special. This is not standard at all. Uh, Life, some of your messages aren't sending through. Twitch is eating a lot of messages. So... All I saw there was, need for speed, purge it with fire, and then the next message you sent was, asterisk channel. To enter within, thou must find the meaning of this passage. In a marble hall as white as milk, lined with skin as soft as silk, within a fountain crystal clear, a golden apple doth appear. No doors there are to this stronghold, yet thieves break in to steal the gold. What is thy answer? The University of New Zealand has a huge campus, four buses total. <laughs> OP, please. No, Inspiron, I didn't see your message. In a marble hall as white as milk, lined with skin as soft as silk, within a fountain crystal clear, a golden apple doth appear. No doors there are to the stronghold. It's it's an egg! Moria Fox! I already answered it, but please, please. In fact, I'm timing you out for that. Moria Fox, you need to learn to etiquette. It. It's an egg. I got it before you said it in the chat. Don't worry. But seriously, when you go into somebody's channel, don't spoil things in the game. Don't answer things that the game asks. If there's a riddle, don't ask. Don't answer it. Please ask first. My rule on my channel is no spoilers. Don't answer the riddles for me. Don't give me hints and clues and anything like that unless I very specifically, very specifically ask for help. Okay? But, and that's going to be the case in many people's channels. So please, I'm not, I'm not terribly mad at you, but please, when you go into somebody's channel, ask first. Don't just come out and say, this is the answer, or this is what happens, or anything like that. Please, please ask first. Because if I hadn't realized the answer, I, I realized the answer and immediately looked to chat after I said egg, and you had said it right there. So you, that would have totally ruined this this 
this riddle for me if I hadn't gotten the answer already. So please be aware, going into people's channels, do not, do not spoil things or answer. Please read the channel rules or ask the person what the rule is regarding that. Because if you go anywhere on Twitch, most people would be would be really pissed off if you if you solve that riddle for them. Luckily, I had solved it before I saw it in the chat. But yeah, most people would really not be pleased with you. Anyway, Swalimo, welcome. Welcome, and welcome Valexi as well. To thy peril. Oh shit. Oh shit! Oh shit! Okay. I don't know why these guys die from casting fireballs at me. I guess it costs some health or something. Okay, give me this treasure without me falling down, please. Oh, of course I fall down. Why do they make treasure so hard to grab in this game? Okay, give me it. Thank you. Get me back across here. Okay, let's uh, save the game before we grab this. And we have the fifth piece of the Staff of Chaos. You attach the fifth piece of the staff for, and for a moment feel a surge of energy pass in your body. Almost as if the incomplete staff were a live thing. Excellent. That fifth piece really has... Nice to see some arena on Twitch indeed, Swalimo. You know, somebody said yesterday that the last time they saw somebody stream arena on Twitch, it was a year ago. So, yes. <laughs> I'm probably the only one who's going to be streaming arena on Twitch for quite some time as well. Now let's see how we get out of this place. Um, we want to head north. No. Do we want to head north? I don't know if north takes us out. I think north does. So let's head north and then uh, around to the east. Okay, I think this is taking us the right direction now. Uh, no, we want to go north and then around that bit, and then south and east a little bit. Okay, what is that creature that I'm hearing? What am I hearing? Nothing coming after me? You don't know if any new PC can run Arena? Uh, OP, mine can. I mean, I'm running Windows 7, but I've got a 3770 and, a, and a, an i7 3770, that is, and a 7850 graphics card, you know, Radeon HD7850. So it's, it's, you know, pretty modern specs, and it can run Arena just fine without compatibility issues. I think it just depends on your OS. But any Windows 7 installation should be able to run it, I think. Or XP should be able to run it for fine, and any, any older... Oh my god, why did this thing respawn? What the hell? What a troll. Why would it respawn this demon? Um, Adamantium Katana, give it back to me. Why would you respawn this demon? The fire demon. But yeah, Windows 8 probably can't run this. Windows 8 probably has a lot of trouble. You went looking and found your old Packard Bell Windows 3.1. What, what what did Arena originally come out for? DOS. It came out for DOS in 1994. That's why I'm running DOS Box to run the game. Now let's re-equip our katana actually we should just put the mithril longsword on at this point because we're heading out of the dungeon no we'll go for the elven katana of lightning actually it's a little reckless to to equip our other weapons let's let's go back in here though for a second there's cozy little place with the fire demon and heal i mean save we've already healed and let's wait and get our magicka back then you're sending this stuff up tonight nice Oh great. There are enemies nearby, naturally. I'm sure his minions really are nothing nothing too impressive. This guy, for being like the evil 
overlord who's who's taken over the empire and is and is known as Palpatine. I don't know. You might be wrong. Uh, Moss Deb, your your message before that didn't send. So you just said, t like you said nothing, and then I might be wrong though. <laughs> so whatever you said, I don't know what you what you might be wrong about. Mount Meories, I imagine. No, oh, my memories is what you're trying to say there. Oh, Frost. I mean, Troll. Your memories of those times are getting more hazy. Yeah, but, but, but of what? <laughs> and you're playing Dark Souls. Nice, Toby, and welcome. Okay, where are we headed? <laughs> Damn you, Twitch, you say. Don't damn Twitch on my channel. They might they might not want to partner me later. If uh, if people are damning Twitch in my channel, they might not see that as a, as a positive influence on Twitch. You like this game because you get to time out people. <laughs> oh, Inspiron. We know that's all you're here for, just to ban people. We know. Let me save the game here, and then have a bit of a rest perhaps it okay has become a habit, congratulating you on your success still there are three pieces left and what guards them only the divine lady may know i have spent many a day searching the ethereal plane for some clue at the location of the sixth piece of the staff this is what i have found the piece was sent to a place called the crypt of hearts I have no clue as to the location of such a place. The price for the little knowledge I have was... Exactly. Still, only three provinces remain that can hold these last pieces. It can only lie in one of these. Good luck. I really wish they'd installed some really shit low quality uh, uh, text-to-chat program. So that she could actually say your name in the game. I would find that hilarious. But oh well, we've got to live with her just, just omitting our name every time. Jump the gap. And yeah, by the way, uh, Drayden, saying that the oldest game you've, the oldest TS game you've played is Morrowind. That's half the point of, of why I'm actually playing Arena and all the other... Uh, Elder Scrolls games because most people will have only played Skyrim. Skyrim is really the the Elder Scrolls game that brought it to a big audience. They they dumbed down the game a bit, for sure, which is which is honestly why I don't like Skyrim as much as some of the other Elder Scrolls games. But they also made it more open to to new audiences rather than just Elder Scrolls fans. You know, if PS players might like it even. So wait. Whatever OP Nerd said, oh there it is, Morrowind was great, you think Steam had it on sale a couple of weeks ago for like two dollars with the, five dollars I think it was, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it is a great game, Morrowind. I'm going to have Hex Chat open because that's picking up a few more messages than Twitch Chat is. Two dollars, five dollars, two billion, same billion, same deal. But yeah, a lot of people will have only played Skyrim, and that's half the reason why I'm doing this marathon. Because honestly, if, if... You know, everybody already knew about Arena, they already knew the, the story and had already played the game and experienced it. I wouldn't really be bothered. I wouldn't really be bothered, because there wouldn't be too much of a point, and you know, I, I'd rather just play... Well, I don't know, now that I'm into the game, I would rather play this game, because it's a great game. But before having played it, I would have just said, well, I'd rather play, you know, Deus Ex or KOTOR or whatever. I was playing KOTOR at the time, so I suppose I would have played that. But now that I'm into this game, I'm actually really enjoying it. Oh, uh, where do we go? Just south. Then through this chamber. Then kill this guy. Okay. You're surrounded by a bunch of nerds, Corey. Well, you know, if you go to a place on the internet designed for nerds, it's generally what you're going to find. You're waiting for Daggerfall? Nice, Ikimoshi. Well... I imagine it will be uh, hopefully even better than Arena. And Arena has been very enjoyable so far, so.
Okay, what do we have here? Ah, uh, damn it, I just went the complete wrong way. Um, where are we going? Where's the exit? So we need to go north, east, and then north again. It's really difficult to navigate on the maps, but oh well. Oh well. And honestly, uh, having such a shit map in this game, the map isn't that shit, but it's kind of shit. It really uh, makes exploration quite important in this game. I find that pretty uh, fun, actually. Thank you. Then north up here. Then... I think one of... Yeah, Drayden, I think one of your messages got eaten because all I see there now is, to, is the smiley face thing. There's no message preceding that. And this must be the exit, right? The blue dot. Right up here. Right here. Okay, this is the way down. Excellent. Let's... Uh, oh, shit. Come on. Oh, my God! Woo! That was extremely close to death. Here, and I didn't quite get the chance to try out Daggerfall nor Arena. You were born the year Arena came out. So was I, 1994. So, I never got to experience this game back then either. So, but more than more than being for my experience, I really figured... Whoops, was that correct? I really figured that a lot of you guys wouldn't have seen this game. So, it's, I don't know, it's good. With, with Elder Scrolls Online coming out as well, it'd be a... You know, it's going to be difficult to experience this old game. More and more difficult going forward really so if I can if I can let you guys see the game then it's all good it's all good now we need to go around and then to the east and north all right oh my god the trolls around then east oh my god You were born the year chess came out. OP, please. This is older than Redguard? Yes, Moria. It came out in 1994. I think Redguard came out a little while ago. Uh, what, was Redguard even... There was a game called Redguard, wasn't there? Like some shitty cell phone game, right? Or are you talking about me, the Redguard, because you're still role-playing as a... as a... as a Khajiit? Okay, let's save the game right here. You are born in 97, so it's beyond past your time, yeah. The trolls have always been annoying. You know what, they're not that annoying in this game. You just have to have to kill them and run, because they do come back to life, I think. They certainly regenerate health. I do think they come back to life. Either that, or there's just tons of trolls whenever I kill one. I don't know. I love how, how the sounds in this game can only play the music and one sound at a time so because those those drums are going in the background you can't hear you know this the sounds of fighting the skeletons <laughs> some advanced technology they used in this game All right, we need to save the game again here and hopefully have a good sleep right now nope of course not of course not where are we now we need to head east i mean west and south maybe this doesn't look explored though so maybe just uh, west, then north, then continue west. Oh! Just imagine if they would add Dungeons & Dragons Hobgoblins. I don't actually know what Hobgoblins are like. Are they just Orcs? It's just another name for Orcs, right? Because there are Orcs in this game. Oh, this was where we fought the vampire. Hopefully he's not alive again. Okay, let's keep away from that. Um, so we just need to continue south along this path. Along the eastern path. Let's heal a bit. Let's save a bit. Okay, and this should take us. Yes, so we just head south and then west a bit, or east rather. No, west. I get confused, because I'm facing this way. So south and then west, and we'll be at the end. 
Oh god. Has Redguard been to Ellswear? Yes, I have. I have been to Ellswear. And then this way, and then the end should be, or the exit, or the downstairs thing here. I don't think this is quite the exit. There's one more level that we have to get back through yet. Your graphics card is on the way out and has been causing you problems. Oh, that was the way out. Okay. Yeah, so far we've been to, I think we've been to, where did we start? We started in Hammerfell. We've been to High Rock. Have we been to High Rock? Maybe. We've been to Skyrim. We've been to Ellsworth. We've been to Valenwood. We've been to Somerset Isle. So I think all that's left is the Imperial Province, Morrowind, and the Black Marsh. That's our last few places. We're at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh! I don't think I've been to High Rock then. So I've been to Hammerfell, Skyrim, Morrowind, Ellsworth, Valenwood, Somerset Isle. And I've got Black Marsh, High Rock. No, I haven't been to Morrowind. We've got Black Marsh, High Rock, and Morrowind left, and then the Imperial Par Province, I believe. So let's go to... Where are we? Where are we? Where are we right now? Up here. So let's go to... Let's go back to the land roll. I like that place. They regenerate like trolls. And let's say you cut one of their arms up. When you'll turn back after looting a chest, you'll have a double hobgoblin surprise. Oh! So they're like, uh, like hydras. Your friend just called and he bought you a new graphics card? Nice. Sorry, I didn't read the entirety of that message before. Nice, man. And yeah, as OpenNerd says, you do have to do him tons of favors now. Is ESO teen or mature? I don't think it's a mature rating. I think it's a pretty low rating, actually. A pretty, pretty, pretty open to everybody type of rating. Which might turn out to be bad for, uh, for us older people. Because I'm so old. I'm so old, guys. Uh, okay, where are we? I really need to find an inn right now. I think if we go this way. Okay. Take me through the water then. Did your comment get eaten again, Drayden? Uh, no. No, as I, as I just replied to it there, uh, no. It did get M rating. There was drama about it, actually. Oh, okay, good. I hope it's got an M rating then. I hope it's worthy of an M rating. Hey Frumple, welcome. Ah, uh, here's the inn, okay. Just to the southwest. East? I thought you said weast. Oh, is this the inn? Is this a blacksmith? I can't remember. No, this is nothing, isn't it? Nothing useful. So we need to go just up to the north here, and here it is. Okay. You don't see how ESO can get anything other than an M rating. Yeah, I know, I know. It, it should have an M rating. I just, I just was wondering myself and hoping. And let's get one day, and let's, uh, how about if I give you eight gold for it? But what if I were to say eight gold, though? Thank you. And let's sleep uh, until, well, what's the time? 2.08 at night. Okay. So, for six hours, should be plenty. Unit crash crash last time. He said, oh, well, welcome back, Ripple. <sighs> Vader Eltium? <laughs> what the heck, man? What the heck? What the heck, man? Okay guys, I think having found the uh, the next staff piece and return to town and all that, we're going to save the game here, and then I, oh, we'll, we'll get out of the tavern first. But I do owe you guys uh, a standing giveaway and a super giveaway. So, I've been, I've been trying to make them sort of happen at, at pretty interspersed times, so that we don't keep interrupting the gameplay here, and interrupt it for the YouTubes as well. So, uh, we'll, we'll do those all right now. Now let's just save the game out here. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, let's pause the game here. 
And maybe I should mute the games while we're doing the giveaways. It's probably a good idea.